Ooh. Oh. Hey y'all, welcome back to Doug Scars. Welcome back to Rover Rescue. We are here at the Mid-Atlantic Rally sponsored by Rover Owners Association of Virginia. It's uh, early and foggy. Yeah, I had a little issue with my nose and a Unimog last weekend, so I'll promise you that I will have less of my mug on camera this time and more of these beautiful rovers. As you can see, the entire Rover Rescue gang is here. Here's my LR3, Addicted Motors LR3. Take a look at his video if you wanna see how we got here. RVA Rovers LR3. Addicted Motors original Rover Rescue 89 Classic being towed by, uh, well, that, that's, that's not a Land Rover, so don't look at that. Get this off the trailer and see people are camping here. This is the lower campsite, so there's not as many folks here, but yeah, that, that, and all these lovelies are going to be heading up there in a little while. And then over across the highway, there is a big off-road course. Um, we did it a couple years ago. I can link to that video up above. I did it in my classic, which is one of the ones that came from the field where Addicted Motors Silver 89 came from. Oh, sorry. Face, I know. Um, so you can see he's got a two and a half inch lift by using the little lift kit. Mine's stock height. And the other green one actually is on regular springs, which you can see in there. Um, so well, we have the whole gamut of LR3s here from stock, height, lifted, and springs. And then, of course, that is not going with us because it is not a rover. So stay tuned. I know this is a long intro, but there's a lot of information. Um, I'll mount this thing up when we get across the road and uh, do some off-roading. You excited to take the uh, the classic out? Yeah. <laughs> it's the first time it's done what it's supposed to do way more fun i mean it's uh that's the culmination of this journey look yeah. from mid-atlantic rally to mid-atlantic rally probably yeah. 20 years apart though hopefully not the last mid-atlantic mid rally though yeah. thanks doug <laughs> starting to line up keep doing donuts <laughs> he's, uh, he's just fixing the, the squeaks oh maybe if i did it on mine it'd fix my squeaks you can see we got some cool folks lined up. This is the, the trail start. You go up here. Uh, they were going to do a drone shot at 8.30, but uh, I don't know if that's going to happen. The sun's maybe starting to peek out a little bit over there. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching Doug's Cars and uh, River Rescue. We got our decals on that have LR3s on them this year. Um, hopefully we're not going to need that. A lot of folks have lined up now. And... Uh, are getting ready. I mean, you can see the gamut of everything. We've got Troy's Classic. We've got some kind of... We're trying to figure out what this one is. If you know, let us know. I thought it might be a Santana with a different clip on because the way the uh, wheels are not quite in the arch. Like they're, they're forward a bit. All the way up to where we'll be going in. You can see there's D1s, D2s, new ones. <laughs> Still so foggy out. Wow. I was hoping they'd be able to do the overhead. Um, light so that you could see all the vehicles from above but I just think it's way way too foggy for that unless they do it real low here oh yeah this guy was here last time we were here this thing's cool <laughs> coming in means everybody got started that's good we're gonna drive up to the top of the mountain now Let's see we've got quite the group going in front of us here Oh no, my paint's gonna get scraped. Of course, you can never make it out on video, but uh, some of these hills are pretty steep. The video never shows what they're like, unfortunately. So you just have to take my word for it. Um, this, is, this is some hilly stuff we're doing. Well, we found some cows. Uh, there's a whole mess of them over here. <laughs> I don't think any of them are gonna wanna come with us. We were told there'd be some. Yes, it's very, very moo. Cow standoff. Yeah, you just gotta keep moving and it'll get out of your way. That cow probably weighs more than that Series 1 does. <laughs> oh, I didn't see it was him. Yeah, actually, <laughs> just knock it over. 
Yeah, it would be crushed like a tin can. Look at all the cows. <laughs> They're all staring at us. First little rocks here. We did this uh, two years ago. I was in my Range Rover Classic, the original Rover Rescue Range Rover Classic, and uh, we ended up like doing rock crawling, which was awesome, but totally unexpected. And it was my first true off-road adventure. I'd done beach and stuff like that before, but nothing like this. And that was, uh, that was quite white knuckly, but fun. And we're on the same course, I believe. This is uh, tight here in, uh, in the LR3. Good, good, good. Going over some rocks here. Let's see how we do. Ooh. <laughs> Just gotta kind of go over them one at a time. There's one. Another. Whew. All right, here we go. Here we go. This is my first time doing it on airbags, true, too. Yeah, scrabbling along. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if Troy's gonna go into that tree or not. Wow, he's really sideways. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> that was not as fun as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> that was definitely not as fun as, as you thought it was going to be. Ooh. All right, made it, made it through, made it through. Nice. All right. Good job, LR3. I'm sorry, Lunar Rover. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's quite the tree stamp, tree stump here. <laughs> wow, is it better to go around it? Maybe. We have gone around it. Well, no, back tire went over it, but that's okay. Quite the hill climb here with rocks. I know it doesn't look like a hill because I can see it on the little camera screen, but it is, and uh, it'd be fun to see how. You got the classic in front, and then Addicted Motors in front, uh, right in front in his LR3, and we'll see how this does. I feel like I'm hearing less rattles on Troy's truck now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a little mountain goat. It's like the stuff has fallen off. <laughs> Some of us have cleared, and the rest of us are waiting to go up over it. So let's see how this works out. Uh, always fun to do voiceover while rock crawling. Oh, this will be interesting. So right side's a little bit better, hopefully. Ah, speed and power technique works every time. Speed and power. Yeah. Power! All right, yeah, all right, we're over. Uh, yes. Yeah. Got a little scrapey poo on the mirror there. But otherwise, yeah, there's a little piece of bark hanging off of it. It's a badge of honor. Oh, yeah. Just gotta keep keep the momentum to keep going up this. Because you don't want to stop. Hopefully they won't. We are, of course, following a Series 1 truck, which we followed last year on the Sunday fire trail run, which is, you know, really old, of course, so it only has eight horsepower, probably, and uh, while they don't mind it getting dirty and beat up... Pratt stuck. Uh-oh. All right. Your back wheel is spinning. Oh, that was possible with an LR3. It is spinning though. Yeah, he's he's. Down in mud ruts. For a rock crawl, I mean. Ten rock crawl. Huh. Looks like oh, he's maybe he's inching forward. He's got it. There you go. Uh, oh, oh, he's spinning again. This should be interesting. 
<laughs> we haven't even got to the top of the mountain yet. All right, now plastic's gonna head up that way. And then uh, that really shouldn't have a problem, hopefully. Doesn't have all the electronics, so it'll just power right through. <laughs> There's no com uh, complications from the computers to get in the way of just brute force and power. Anyway, y'all watch that while I figure out what I'm doing here. <laughs> Oh, oh, he's backing up. Oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, that, that's definitely a uh, difficult terrain there. Huh. I thought the Classic would have no problem. All right, let's see if he can make it up in the LR3 or not. Oh, that was a, quite the drop. He, he just, uh, let's see. Troy's usually pretty good about just keeping the power on and keep it going. Yep, he did. No Jack, I hope, I hope you had that perfect line on video right there. Uh -huh. <laughs> I did. Oh yeah, this is, this is fun. <laughs> Made it through. There was definitely a bump in the back. I have no idea what that was. But uh, it wasn't a bad bump. <laughs> this is this is this is some rock crawling here, folks. This is why we're here. And this is the intermediate course. Well, I'm glad we didn't take the fancy one and do the true off-roading. Only one person volunteered for that. <laughs> Which is pretty funny. Um, keep in mind, this is my daily driver, so hopefully I made it over. Traction control light, interesting. Wow. I see some scrapes on some of those. Woo. <laughs> this, this is cool. This is more fun for me been racing around a track in our race car, which is one of the reasons I sold the spot on our race team. Uh, <laughs> so while I'll still be doing pit crew stuff, I won't be in the race car anymore, but this, this I can do. I don't have, cause on the race team, I find myself doing this with someone two inches on either side of me. Here, I'm just kind of out here by myself and I'm not gonna hit them, hopefully. I'm not leaving like Wait, a trail of transmission fluid or anything, am I? <laughs> You? What, did you hit something? Yeah, a couple of times it scraped underneath. Just air it out, bud! <laughs> so I got that sweet metal transmission pan. Why? Is mine plastic? Plastic from the factory, but this one has a metal pan conversion on it. Yeah, I haven't even scraped anything, honestly. Yeah, Troy, I got a lot of you on video and you're gonna enjoy watching how well you've done. Y'all, I apologize for the beeping, but I think they're constructing the Atlantic pipeline up here. I thought that had been canceled, but okay, maybe not. But uh, apparently there's construction going on up here somewhere. Obviously there's a an easier route up here for those kinds of vehicles, but... Nathan, how's the uh, temps looking? This hill is cool and... Uh, uh, a little past vertical. <laughs> ah, that's where it sits. It's all yeah. good. And the classic's doing well. That's awesome. I, I still can't believe that thing came out of a field where it sat for 10 years or more with, with the classic I used to have and is now out here doing that. Battery light is lightly flickering. <laughs> <laughs> Battery light. Uh-oh. All right, here we go again. Yeah, this you can't see it in the camera, unfortunately, um, but this is this is pretty steep and rocky, so seems like a good place to leave it running. Wow, this is narrow. Really narrow here. For these big trucks. Yeah, Pratt, you're 
Passenger rear was spinning a little. There you go. <laughs> you think with all these computer control, the, the tires wouldn't spin. Yeah, you know, yeah there you go. <laughs> There's just a giant earth mover up there at the top of the... <laughs> that thing's cool. All right, here we go. something scrapey there wow this is really narrow folks I don't know if you can tell on the camera these are not that wide you know, at least compared to like American trucks but uh they're all the way flexed out so uh stop stop uh, if you can back up a smidge and hit it again you're flexed out on your rear right pretty hard oh yeah yeah that was like in one of the the advertisements for it back in the day with the axle all the way flexed over. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh boy. <laughs> Woo. This is this is what it's all about here, folks. Uh, Troy kind of went to the right here, so I'm going to copy that line if I can. Let's see how we do. Of course, all of that noise you hear is not me. It's all of this construction equipment. <laughs> Pipeline construction, stay on trail. All right. Doug, you make it? Yeah, yeah I'm coming, I'm coming. Wow, look at the work up here. Cool. Apparently there's a big mud puddle at the top of this hill, which, hey, it actually almost kind of looks like a hill on camera for the first time ever. And I apologize, I had to wipe the window and of course where the schmoo is on the windshield is right from the camera. And I'm not really capable of, oh yeah, it's a little, little bit of muddy here. All right, I can't really see it on the camera. Uh, yeah, nice. So Troy of Addicted Motors is finally getting to drive his Range Rover Classic. He had been driving his LR3, the Tonga Green one that's in front of it. So I'm going to go ahead and get some uh, footage of him so he can see what he looks like going down the mountain here. Um, I don't believe I've been on this trail before. Apparently it's called the Spring Trail uh, and it's it's very wild. It's very overgrown. I am so much more relaxed though in the Classic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so yeah, uh, engine braking is doing its thing. Rather odd sounds, but okay. Um, it's working in the in the uh, still in the mud rut mode, I believe. But you can see him. Uh, looks like we're coming to a stop up here. We've had a bunch of stops this time around, but you can see how. I mean, look look at all the look at all the grass and, and weeds growing up in the middle of the road. This is very very rustic and uh, not very technical. RVA Rover just came over the radio and said that this part that's coming up is pretty hairy, so. I figured I would uh, go ahead and start the camera. Uh, it looks like we're doing a whole lot of nothing right now. All bunched up. So it must be a slow going, difficult part of the trip. Or as difficult as it gets on the intermediate trails for our lifted, well, air lifted trucks. That wasn't bad, just a few tire shredders next to the trail. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see, I see some rocks there, but. Yeah, so you, again, you can't tell on the camera, but we are going downhill. I'm like, I'm, You're good, man. I'm like leaning forward in my seat just from gravity because this is so downhill. And uh, oh, my beautiful paint job. <laughs> automatically locks and unlocks the disc. Yeah, the center. You'll see it on the screen. Yeah. And now to the right. And I'm close to that tree. All right. Through that. That wasn't so bad. And the class up looked great. Put the 3x4 info on on Troy's truck and see if the uh, rear locker starts locking itself. Man, this thing really does engine brake nicely down. 
or whatever it's doing with the brakes and all that stuff electronically. I'm still leaning straight forward in my seat from gravity. Like that's how steep this is. I know there's no way you can tell on the camera because the cameras don't do that justice, unfortunately, but this is, this is awesome. <laughs> this is why I don't like to race because I only go one mile an hour here. A little bit of a, uh, a little bit of rockiness here and some, with some dirt bouncing all over the place too. Wow. But going downhill at a pretty decent clip and still, wow, this is, this trail has really grown. Uh, when we were here two years ago, it was really dry. I guess we, I don't know if it was a drought in this part of the state or what, but uh, just didn't have this kind of weeds. Super steep decline here. I'm not even touching the brakes, it's doing it by itself, which is awesome. And then we can get to see... What was that? <laughs> we can get to see them go up the hill. And you can kind of even make it out, but it's steep. Wow, this is a tight fit here. Woo! Tight, tight, tight fit. You didn't power! Oh, this is... Yeah, we need some power to go up this hill. Oh. <laughs> All right. Pull up here and let the uh, let the classic get going up this rather steep incline. Now that he's got a pretty good start, let's go ahead and do the Jeremy Clarkson. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Now this is living. <laughs> Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't think my uh, Lincoln Town Car will be having a good time right now. Just, just guessing. That's probably not the best place for this. But this, I have got to say, I, I was telling the boys earlier when we stopped for a second um, for a quick break, how proud I am of this truck. I mean, this the Luna Rover's got, uh, it's going to hit 229,000 miles today, probably not on the trails, but today, and, you know, it, it's it been fantastic. I had to put, you know, an air strut on it. Obviously, I put new tires on it that are KO2s. Um, you know, I, it, it's really been an excellent vehicle for me. I've daily driven it now for over a year and I've taken it on the beaches and stuff, but this is the first real off-road course that it's probably done in its entire life because it was basically a commuter vehicle for the, the previous owner who had it for the 200 and some thousand miles. And uh, I, don't know, I think he commuted like 30 or 40 miles a day on the interstate in this. So it's probably never done anything like this before. Hopefully it'll do this again sometime at another one of these type events. Ah, that was cool. Y'all, can I just say how much I love this truck right now? <laughs> uh, I mean, it's comfortable. It's relatively quiet even on the highway, unless you're going over 70 because of the, you know, volvo-ness of the shape. And uh, as RVA Rover just pointed out, there's a big bump coming up. Look at the articulation on that classic. Wow. So let's go over this big, I don't know what it is. Yeah, whoo, this will be fun. Wonder if we'll- uh, A nice little rock. Yeah, went over that okay. I didn't hear anything hit. That's good. This is like an interesting clearing. Like maybe the water must run down here to the right where all the Perfect. trees are. When there's a big storm. Like, yeah, the axle artic art uh, articulation on the classic is awesome. It's like in some of the old advertisements they had for back in the day. If you I just find remember where my, uh, my gift bubble is. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, this I is think fun. Pratt makes it look easy. <laughs> this turn up here has a bit of an angle, so took a way better line. Might be uh, might be fun to see. <laughs> Man, he's at quite. Yeah. Wow. Mason, you look good. <laughs> Hell of an angle, though. <laughs> <laughs> this is like something you do with the. 
parking lot of the Land Rover course and you think you're gonna flip over. All right, let's see how the Classic handles this. <laughs> All right, I'll stay here. Let's see what an angle he goes at. Oh. <laughs> It's just stopped there, and you can see the angle is is crazy. Oh, he's backing up. Oh no, he's changed his tire position. Oh, he, is he is backing up. Okay. We good? Yeah, I was just trying to videotape Troy. <laughs> oh, I look, Doug. Feel very tippy. Uh, I think you're okay if, as long as you stay clear of that, that tree to your right there. I mean, it's, it's not going to tip over. You look pretty good here. Yeah, it's a lot uh, different when you don't really feel the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> brakes? Where we're going, we don't need brakes. Yeah, this is, this is quite, quite the uh, angle here. <laughs> oh man! Woo. Oh, that that was insane. <laughs> uh, okay, that wasn't anywhere near as hard as it looked, but wow, I'm I'm okay to be through that. That's for sure. Another. Uh, pretty... I'm just gonna get the brakes to rest for a second. <laughs> this is a pretty uh, heinous turn coming up up here too. Got the guy in the in the new Defender 110. I mean, it's a long vehicle. He had to back up and you know, make that turn up there. Let's see how we fare in our slightly shorter vehicles. There's the first LR3. Yeah, uh, yeah, he, he cleared it, no issues. All right, cool, good to know. He is also the person who, is the reason that we all have LR3s and uh, has driven them way longer than the rest of us, so he knows the vehicle very, very, very well. All right. Second LR3 about to go through. Should just be able to, to power right on through because that, that, looked, that looked super easy. May not actually be super easy. Yeah, he's going. Good, good. Well, we got... Uh, Addicted motors here in the classic. Oh, 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 he's backing up. He's backing up. The uh, old school Defender 110 TDI behind me is what you probably have heard the entire time. Very uh, unusual sound in the US hearing a diesel clattering away, unless it was 1982 and you're at your local Mercedes Benz dealership. Classic made it through, obviously no issues whatsoever. Let's see, I can come hard over. Yeah, I think we're I think we're okay here. Yep, 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 we're good, we're good. Made it. This is a uh, quite a different difficult crawl here, so let the camera roll for a minute. Let's see if we can't get the the classic bouncing around a bit on the on the rocks. Got it. <laughs> Woo. I bet that felt good. Probably shook about 10 pounds of rust off of that thing too. <laughs> nice. Glad to get some of these cars out of the way so the rest of us can go through. Oh wow, I got some, I hit something there. <laughs> going to be interesting and possibly treacherous. You can walk me through it? What? 
You gonna walk me through it or are you just gonna film it? All right. All right. I hear it. I feel it. Yeah. All right. Cool, cool. Looks like another slightly difficult thing to get over. So let's see how the axle articulation of the classic handles it. I can see, oh, eh, eh. It's, it's not too bad. It's not, not gonna be fun either. Let's see what happens when I go over it in a slightly bigger, heavier, airy, suspension-y version. Oh yeah. My other hat fell off the seat other than that. No worries. Oh, this is gonna feel good. <laughs> Boom, got it. Got that one. Let's see, next one coming up I'm slow and down. Slid over that one, good, good. Just gotta avoid the tree over here on the right. Successful so far. And that one. And we're through it. All right, y'all, we're back down here at base camp pretty much. Hold on. Yep. Anyway, I don't know what drama's going on up there, but we're back down here pretty much towards the end. And uh, as I promised, I wouldn't show my ugly mug if, as, if I didn't have to, and I don't. So what I'm gonna do is say, uh, we're, we're done with the driving part of today. So thanks y'all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the driving part of the Mid-Atlantic Rally with the Rover Owners Association of Virginia. And of course, all of Rover Rescue is here, which is awesome. So I'm gonna leave you with uh, Troy getting out of his truck for whatever reason. And uh, well, maybe there is some issue. He said he hit a rock pretty hard. I don't know why. I, I don't remember seeing one in the last, oh, he turned it off. All right, well, hold on. Maybe I won't be ending this video. Maybe something has happened. Huh, everything good up there? I just hit a rock hard with the wheel and it got scared. Oh, electronics malfunction. Got, gotcha, gotcha. So on, on that bombshell... Uh, uh, we went with the, uh, the uh, manual recommended restart. <laughs> on that bombshell, I'm going to end this video. I'm going to take a video of this afternoon's festivities so y'all can see that, um, which might have my face in it again. But thanks y'all so much for watching Doug's Cars. As always, there will be more Rover Rescue on this channel, more of all of these lovely vehicles that are about now to exit from the trails. And please hit subscribe so you can see more of that fun content. I will see y'all again shortly. Thanks for watching.